Hello, welcome back. We are exploring the C primer on load runner and essentially we are going through the very basic concepts of C so that you are comfortable in customizing the default script that was generated by VU Gen. So far we have covered data types, control structure and loop structure. And in this topic we are going to see something new. So if you remember that whenever we are defining a variable of integer, so this is how we are doing int a and then we are assigning a value to that. So it may happen that sometime you want to you want to you want to have a, a variable of same type. That means I will have I want to let's say I want to I want to store the grades of the students. The grades of students are integer like any number between 0 to 100. Okay. So in that case let's say I have 100 students to store the 100 students grade one option I can do, I can define integer, I can define 100 variables like this g1, g2, g3 and up to g100. So this is one approach. So another approach is through array data structure. The way we want to define an array is like this and first you define what type of array you want to, you want to have. So in this case I have integer array. Then what is the name of the array? Let's say the name of the array is grade. How many number of elements this grade will have? Let's say in this case I will have 100. Okay and then what you can do? You can assign the grades within the curly braces, curly braces and then put the number say 10, 90, 20 and so on. Okay so this is how you are going to assign the grade and by this now if you want to visualize this thing it's going to look like something like like this where this a big box is there okay and then 100 elements like this and this is the first element or this is also indexed by 0 that means grade 0 is the value at this location and what is the value at this location this is basically 10 okay and then we have 90 similarly the second element can be accessed by notation grade 1 and the 100 element will be accessed by grade 99 and grade let's say if you want to access grade 100 you get an error because that is not defined okay so so essentially this is what it does by this first line of code so basically let's uh, start our view gen and put the put the code there and for simplicity i am just taking a grade with five elements okay so this is how i if you want to see what is there in the third element this code this code is going to print what is the element what is the value at third element so if i run this program now okay so what i'm saying the third element is six and if we go so this is the first element, second element, third element. Notice the third element is indexed by number 2. Okay. And next thing is that I want to find out what is the size of this array. So I want to, I want to know how what is the size of this array. To know the size of this array, there is a function and that function is called size of. And in size of, if you give the the name of the array then whatever the value that has been returned by this is going to be the total size. To print that I am going to put in LR output message. So I just print the size of array. Percentage D and let's print. So how much you expect, what, what do you expect the size of array? So the answer is 5 or something else. Let's run this program and see what's the output message that we are getting. So it looks like the output message is 20. So it looks like the size of this array is 20. So actually what happened since an integer array each of this each of this integer take 4 bytes and therefore since we have 5 elements therefore the total size of this array is 4 into 5. So that is 20. So that is why we are getting 20 here. Okay. So and then the next question that we have here is that do something so that we can print the 
each individual elements in the array that means what I need to do I need to I need to do some sort of loop so that I can iterate and print each of this element the first element would be given by by 0 and second is 1 third one is 2 3 4 and so on to do this so let's define a variable count and then within a for loop we we start count at 0 then we want to do less than count less than how many times you want to you want to iterate that is the size of grid that means what is the total size of the grid and this is since this is an integer variable then we want to know what is the size of int okay so this many times so basically what is going to size of integer size is 4 bytes and size of grid is 20 so 20 by 4 is 5 okay so that is basically to in order to know how many elements there are in an array this is the way that you can figure it out and then I want to do count I'll increment the count and I'll start a loop and here I'm going to LR output message and I'm going to and we'll see and then the element at location is percentage D. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to give the element at percentage D location is percentage D. So percentage D means I would see like you know at I'll give it CNT here and then I'm going to give grid CNT. So I have to finish the code here. Okay. So looks like this code is now going to run and give me the result. Okay. So if you see what I'm getting, I'm getting the first element is 10, second element is 8, third element is 6, 8 and 9. So this is how you are going to manipulate an array variable in C. Okay. Thank you.